What is up guys? This is Zach Hample here with you in Buffalo, New York outside of Salem Field, normally a minor league stadium, but there is major league baseball being played here right now because the year 2020, global pandemic, everything is so strange and the Toronto Blue Jays did not get approval to play their home games in Toronto. So they moved them all here and that presents an interesting opportunity for me to see if I can somehow catch a baseball outside the stadium and then add that stadium to my major league list. So just really excited to be here. And just a little while ago, as I always do when I get to a new stadium, I walked all around the outside of this place to check out how it's been converted for the Blue Jays. The first thing that jumped out at me was all the signage. And as I approached one of the employee entrances, I got a quick look at someone inside getting a temperature check. After that, I headed around behind home plate toward the first base side and noticed a statue there with a face mask on it. That's James D. Griffin, former mayor of Buffalo. Another thing that's pretty cool out in front is the double flagpole with both an American and Canadian flag. Over on the first base side of the ballpark, there are more Blue Jays signs, canopies, and banners. And all the way out in the right field corner, I found my way into a parking garage, which, not surprisingly, has the upper two levels tarped off to obstruct views inside the stadium. You can barely get a peek inside through a sliver, but on a level down below, it's possible to get a better look inside the stadium and see the field a little bit. Anyway, batting practice should be starting soon, and based on everything that I've learned researching this place, it seems like the area behind the left field wall is the place to be. So let's head over that way. We'll see what it looks like. about that you can actually see inside the stadium actual major league players on the field Vladimir Guerrero Jr. fielding some ground balls at first base coaches hitting fungos the grounds crew setting up the field just waiting for BP to start and there is some competition here this is my man Josh who drove here from Cincinnati the famous Benny Bang Bang will be driving back in a few days to New York together so uh, you know hopefully we each get one today how about that that's the goal God, wow, I just wanted to see if I could see a player. Like, oh, maybe I'll shout at someone for a ball because Benny's been here for a few days and he said, happen. yeah, and basically there have been guards on the inside, these yellow shirt guys who keep you off stadium property on that side of the street. So I was like, well, before BP starts, I'll just go there and see if I can see a player. And there was just some dude standing in center field with the ball doing nothing. Like, that was custom made, I can't believe it. So, at this point, I wanna make sure that my guy Josh gets a ball. Um, so he'll get the next one. You can take a look at it right here. Just a standard Major League Baseball. So, all right, this is pretty exciting because I'm basically trying to get baseballs from as many different stadiums as possible, all right? So I only count major league games at major league stadiums, but as I say all the time, and sorry for the traffic noise, it's crazy out here, but like when Major League Baseball opened the season in Japan last year at the Tokyo Dome, those baseballs count. And I was in Australia in 2014 when the Dodgers and Diamondbacks opened the regular season. That stadium counts. So even though I'm not inside this stadium, this ball came from a game day for the major leagues at what is right now, at this moment, a major league stadium. So that makes it 58 major league stadiums for me with the baseball. I love it. Oh my God. All right, I'm doing it.
there it is. Josh, grab that thing. Hold it on up for the camera. All you, man. All right, fair game. If you want to go for it, go for it. All right, so Josh is on the board. I'm on the board. Benny, of course, also got a toss up. And you can just see what this layout here in left field looks like. I'll pull the mask down for a second. That netting, yeah, I think it's 35 feet high. And where we are on the street is actually above field level. The field is sunken below this vantage point. Uh, so it takes quite a poke to get it over, but they just did. And what we don't want, uh, if you want to swing around this way, there's this parking lot. And if balls bounce in there, evidently there's a security guard and a cop who chases people away. I'd be tempted to climb over this fence, but evidently that's against the rules. So we want to make sure nothing bounces in there. That one plopped right on the grass perfectly. So he gets to add a new stadium to his list. Yeah, well worth the Did six you? hour drive that we each made from our respective cities. Did you even see that land? Cause I didn't see that coming. Uh, I did see it coming. I saw it, Yeah, I saw it come down. Thank you. All right, so I saw a ball go over here somewhere, and I'm gonna see if I can maybe get an employee to toss it out. Gotta pursue any opportunity at this point. You got one? You got no. no. Oh, shoot. Thank you. You got it? Look at that. Baseball number two on the day. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Wow. Can't even see who threw that one because everything is just fenced off, you can see. But uh, yeah, feels good to put up a crooked number. Well, my friend Benny outplayed me on this home run. Unfortunately, it bounced into the parking lot, and before I could climb over the fence, he ran all the way down a street and through a side gate to grab it. He got lucky. There was no one to chase him out of the parking lot, but then one minute later, this mean dude in a white van showed up to patrol the area, and that was it for batting practice. Only two home runs made it out of the stadium all day, so this is not exactly a hot spot for ball hawking action. Nevertheless, I got two baseballs today, and you can see him right here. I am so happy about that, and I don't know who threw the first one. All I can tell you is that it was a white guy on the Jays wearing a face mask, and he was like 150 feet away, so seriously, how am I supposed to identify him? The first home run that my friend Josh got, that was hit by Vladimir Guerrero. Some guy who works inside came out to say hello, and he said that Vladdy was the only guy who hit one out for the Jays. So as for the game itself, which is starting up pretty soon, the Rays are here. Their starting pitcher is Trevor Richards, a righty. And for the Blue Jays, we got Tanner Roark, also a righty. So that makes things a little tougher for me. If there were lefty pitchers, there'd be more righty batters, which is good if you're hanging out in left field. And another thing that's gonna make it tough is that the wind is blowing in. Not ideal, but as always, I'm hopeful. This seems like a perfect spot. Man, man, I see Jabs a lot over here. I used to see him in Pittsburgh oh, hell yeah. a lot. I've been all over. I haven't seen you, though, Ben. Pleasure to see you, brother. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, man. I'm a huge fan. Stay safe. Thank you. We are in the bottom of the second inning. Rays are on top three to two. And there have been a couple of home runs tonight, but they were both hit by lefties out to right field. So that doesn't help me at all. And also unfortunate, there were two cop cars just a little while ago to prevent people from congregating deep in center field across the road where I was able to bring you some shots from earlier in the day inside the stadium. 
So I was hoping to actually show some live Major League Baseball, at least a pitch or two, but that's not gonna happen. So for now, the sun is about to dip out of view. You can see what I'm staring up into. Really hard to see, but we got Bo Bichette in this game, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Hunter Renfro, some big righties. So again, we'll see if anything comes out. A pizza hey, delivery you. offer, how about that? Hey, so no bulls. Just tell them you're, you're like at the Oak Street gate and you want stress free JP. Alright. I'll bring you food. We got great food. I'll bring I'm delivering for like 11. Yo, y'all the man. Go food day, baby. How about that? Who wants some pizza? baby I think this game is tied four to four now in the seventh I'm not sure if anyone was on base so Bo Bichette just homered to the opposite field and Teoscar Hernandez blasted one to center didn't make it out on the street where we are but it was close enough that Benny went running for it and then got told off by the cops. So, gotta ask you, what was that exchange all about? What happened? <laughs> he basically said to me, sir, don't run into traffic. I was like, I didn't run into traffic. He's like, sir, you can't run into the middle of the street. I'm like, he, or he's like, and he's trying to tell me it's dangerous. There's cars coming. I'm like, there were no cars coming. He's like, sir, there are cars coming. I was like, I saw that there was no cars. He's like, <laughs> and I was like, did you see any cars? Did I get hit? No, there were no cars. <laughs> and I tried to make it very clear. I said, I'm from New York City. I know how to deal with traffic. <laughs> and that's sort of where we left off. And they also tried to prank me because I ran down the street to go tend to personal business and when I came back Benny pretended that he caught the Bichette home run. However this is a game ball in case that's not clear to anyone. Why don't you show the logo genius? Well I'm showing that it's mud rough. So can I have my ball back? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> wow Fenway Chris was in on it too. This is the kind of crap I have to put up with. <laughs> So, you know why there's an empty chair right here next to me? That's because there was a foul ball hit high back behind home plate, and I convinced Benny that it left the stadium. I actually started running for it to tempt him into running for it, and it worked, so I've now gotten rid of some of my competition. That's what happens when you troll me into thinking that you got a Beau Bichette home run. Suck it, Benny. No, nothing out there? Possible. What a shame. There was no foul ball to be found. Given the fact that my view of the field was blocked by the cops, I was glad to simply see a few baseballs flying through the air. Pop-ups were much easier to see against the dark night sky than home runs, and there were a lot of homers. Seven total, including six by the Blue Jays. 12 to 4, that was the final score, and things got so messy for the Rays that they brought in Mike Brasso, a position player, to pitch in the bottom of the eighth. Anyway, despite how slow it was for me out on the street, it was really cool to be here and see how this stadium has been transformed to host Major League Baseball. And of course, it was also fun to hang out with my boys, even though it did cost me a few baseballs. But that said, 
Still got a couple right here, and these do count for my stats, for my total. So that number, lifetime, is now 11,152. I will be back here tomorrow. I think the weather's a little bit iffy. The forecast has been changing. So hopefully there's BP tomorrow. Hopefully I get a few more balls. Hopefully one more video for you guys. So look for that, and thanks for watching this one.